Welcome to episode 3 of the Cookie Blast podcast, the podcast where we talk about Dragon Ball Fighters and anything fighting game related. I am your host, Subway Cookie, and in this episode, I'll be talking to you about the importance of attending and supporting locals, and also a little bit about my own local here in Western Australia. Uh, before we get right into the topic, I just wanted to announce something with regards to it. Um, here in Western Australia, um, in Perth, We've got a two-part tournament happening in the next two two weeks. Um, so on March 3rd, the first half of the Pika Show Your Prowess tournament is happening. So the first half on March 3rd will be covering Dragon Ball Fighters, uh, Soul Calibur 6, and MKX. So make sure to come on down. Um, it'll be starting at 1 p.m. at Escape Portal in Cannyville, um, roughly. So the same time as our casuals. So our casuals are every week, but this uh, this tournament, uh, this show your prowess tournament, will be taking the place of our casuals for the next two weeks. So uh, the two weeks after, so after that, on the Mar- March seventeenth, will be the second half of the Pika Show Your Prowess tournament, and it will be focusing on Tekken Seven and Street Fighter Five. So uh, at the same time and same place, Skate Portal and in Canningvale. So make sure to head on down um, to show off your prowess, kick some ass, and learn a few things. Meet new friends. Um, we're excited. We're, we'll be we're excited to meet you um, if you're from Western Australia and you're listening to the podcast. Make sure to come on down. We don't bite. Um, yeah, <laughs> we're 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 just we're all friendly. We're all we're all we're all in the same boat together we're all and yeah yeah i'm about to lose some subs, subs if i sing that song but anyways i digress so today today actually like i said i wanted to talk about supporting locals um the importance of attending and supporting local scene and a little bit about my own local scene so just to kind of get where i'm coming from so like i said um our local scene is known as pika or the Perth Iron King Arena. Um, that's the name of our um, of our TOs. Um, and they run. The Perth Iron King Arena is run by five amazing people. So we've got Joy. Uh, she's the CEO and co-founder. We've got Andrew, who's also a co-founder and a tournament organizer. We've got Joel, the creative director and also a tournament official. Um, we've got Kirsty. Uh, who's the creative director and Stuart who is our streaming director and tournament official Um, and these five people are amazing they've done so much for us in the past few months um, that I've been part of Pika and I I just love it I just I just love everything Um, I just love everything to do with uh, with, to do with Pika Um, because they put in so much effort and they put in so much time for us and it shows we're growing a lot a lot more people are, are are attending regularly and it's amazing it's it's really cool so with pika um we so with pika they they originally they come from a tekken background but they, we support all all fighting games so right now we're covering um tekken 7 street fighter 5 mortal kombat x um dragon ball fighters soul Calibur 6 and in the future, you know, Mortal Kombat 11, uh, MK11, and DOA6 as well, maybe, because uh, <laughs> um, our core va- that's where our core values are at. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm so excited to play a little bit of DOA. No, I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna hide that. I I'm excited to play a little bit of DOA. But anyways, I digress. So that's a little bit about Pika and who started it and what we what we cover and yeah, so we play pretty much everything. Come on down. <laughs> Honestly. So um with regards to understanding locals, you know, um I guess it, it also talks about the I'm also gonna be talking about the importance of community. Um here and I guess the, I'll tell I'll tell you a story of how I met, how I came across Pika. So at the time, I think it was around September, uh, I played Street Fighter V and uh, Tekken casually. So I was the kind of guy that would, every time I would go to the arcade, so time zone or or whatever, 
that had Tekken, um, shopping centers that had te <laughs> Tekken, I'd play. Um, Tekken Tag, Tekken 6, whatever, you name it. So I played um, Steve Fox and King. I wasn't very good. I was like, I guess you could say I was an advan a slightly advanced masher. <laughs> like, I kind of knew what I was doing. I knew um, left punch, right punch, um, left kick, right kick, etc., etc. I could combo a little bit, but no, I just kind of took it. With a grain of salt. Well, not not a grain of salt. That's probably the wrong um, idiom. Um, I kind of took it at face value, right? So um, I did Taekwondo. So I'm like, okay, well, I jab with the left and right is my my um, big heavy hitter, and then kicks kind of hurt. So <laughs> so that's that's kind of how I played it. Well, obviously not with Steve Fox, but there's the dodge option. So there's that. Um, yeah, so at the time, uh, one of my friends who played MKX, who plays MKX, um, competitively, and he plays Tekken as well, he invited me to come to a tournament, uh, which had Tekken 7 and Street Fighter 5. Um, at the time, we played Street, uh, I played Street Fighter 5 with my, uh, friends at work, so I was like, yeah, you know, why not, this will be my first tournament, um, it'll be good place, a good time to get my feet wet, just enjoy and see how how will I do and hopefully maybe I win one I didn't <laughs> I lost I got I got bodied all right I got I went 2 and 0 so two two lo two losses and no wins uh, so I was out of the tournament straight and I was annoyed no I was annoyed um, but it got me it got me to play a whole lot more seriously now it got me thinking, you know, I'm actually, I, well, I thought I was decent at this game. I got bodied 2 0 by the, these two guys. And I don't know why. Um, yeah. So that's when I started to learn a lot more. Um, I stayed to watch the grand finals, and my love for Tekken just grew. Um, so I dropped Street Fighter V. Not because I got bodied, but. Um, my love for Tekken was a lot more than it was Street Fighter V. So um, I took up Tekken. I took up Josie. Josie Rizal as a character. And um, yeah, from there I just learned um, how to play. I learned basic, com uh, basic combos, basic movement. And then I went to the locals. I was like, hey, uh, I'm not that good. Can you teach me? Can you help me? Can you help me learn? And I learned a lot. I learned how to block. <laughs> I learned how to dodge. Um, a few things. I'm still not the best. I'm not. I'm not pork chop by any means. But oh, poke chop by any means. But no, I'm. I'm all right. Um, I'm currently ranked 28. But that's. I digress. That's another thing. So yeah. Um, that's how I improved. I decided I wanted to play a few games on stream. How oh, like maybe one or two games on stream and I lo I lost both, but both times both of the guys um, one of them was Andrew actually and the other guy, um, yeah and the other guy was um he they they both were like hey look if I I understand that you're you're new you're not you're not confident in there yet if there's anything any questions you have just talk to me let me know ask ask away. Uh, and if there's any tips or anything that I can I can provide, let me know. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll let you know. And they did that. No, I had questions. No, is that is that plus? Is that uh, how come I can't press any buttons after that? Oh yeah, that's because I'm plus. Um, this is you need to know when it's your turn. Um, on the other guy, and then, yeah, you know what buttons to press. Just you need to know when to press them. And then later on, I learned other things. You know, I learned about frame data. I learned when um, when to press buttons, when not to. Um, I learned movement. I learned a lot of things, and that was all because I asked questions, and all because I had a lot of friendly people uh, to talk to to talk about the game. And that's what that's one of the things that you get from a local. You know, online, you always you just see scrub quotes, right? Online, and people are just coming from work, uh, etc. You have the 
that level of an um, anonymity and uh, not on um, I don't that level yeah I guess I'll just put it as an an uh, animosity anonymous uh, you know because they you don't know what they look like they're just gonna say crap they're just gonna talk trash like not the good trash talk as well they're just gonna call you crap you know you're not gonna get anything good from online but we're at locals you know in in front of people and like you'll see the uh, people that you can mingle with the people that you can talk with the people who will help you um and they will always be genuine like they'll always help there will always be someone there that just wants to help you out uh they always just want to see you improve and that's the beauty of locals um you can have that competitive spirit but you can also you can have that competitive spirit that rivalry but you can also have that level of camaraderie uh, which i just love so much and that's what kept me coming uh, back each fortnight uh, for the casuals and even for my first um, mini major uh, tournament but yeah it's um, it's th these things are invaluable uh, and I think one of the things um, at, at around that time as well um, I, I saw a tweet from um, Alex Valle uh, let me see if I can find the screenshot on my phone because I took a screenshot of it here so you want to promote your re you want your region to be noticed number one promote your crew daily not just yourself All right and um, and that's the thing All right I wanted to do that with Pika because they done they helped me so much um, with my gameplay I, I enjoyed every moment that I was there um, I met a lot of new friends, made uh, made a lot of new friends, um, met a lot of new people, and man, dude, oh, it's just the best. Um, it's just the best feeling, um, being able to have friends that you can talk to, games about, stuff that you're passionate about, you know, and that they are passionate about as well. And you, that's that's some one, some of the things that have been um, that um, the benefits that you get from attending locals. And not only that, as well, you've got the uh, offline play. You know, everyone knows online you've got lag, you've got um, rage quit, <laughs> you've got all this um, other stuff, you know, toxic stuff. But in online, you know, there's nothing to blame but yourself. Uh, not offline, I mean, offline, there's no one to blame but yourself, right? And it's it's all fun and games. It's all just about learning, and it's so good. Um, it's it's so good. So if you're not attending your locals, um, please do. No, please support your local. Um, no, there's no point in. You know, I mean, there's. Yeah, it's cool to go to majors, but it locals is where it's at. You know, locals is you you'll gain so much more from attending locals. Um, rather than attending the one-off major every year or whatever, all right? It's it just just helps you grow, and not only you but your community as well. And the more that you support your commu your fighting your your community, the more that you put into it, the more you get out. Um, and, and it's true. Uh, it's it's so true. So I, I I encourage you. Sorry, I encourage you to attend your your locals and to support them. Um, yeah. And what else comes to mind? I guess some of the things like you know if you if you're wanting to start your own community or if you've got a group of friends you want to build up the community the community there a little bit more. I mean, first do your research, see if there is already a community there, and just build up. Um, if not, if there isn't, you know what? Here, you just start. Start meeting at a place. It can be a person's house. It can be, um, I don't know, net cafe, right? Um, anywhere. Start meeting, mingling, and playing, right? Uh, for us, we've got a few activities um, here in Pika. So we've got our fortnightly casuals. And by fortnightly, I mean every two weeks. Not the damn video game fortnight, please. None of that bullcrap. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. So every two weeks, we've got casuals. Um, but then every now and then, we've got tournaments, like the one that's happening in, ne- in the next two weeks, which I'll be preparing for. Um, what else do we have? We have Ranbat. So for those that don't know what Ranbats are, ranked battles. Um, right now, we've got ranking. We've got all the ranks on an Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> um, and um, right now I'm ranked 28th on Tekken and number 5 in Dragon Ball Fighters. So yeah, there's that. Top 5 in WA. <laughs> ranked. So I mean, there's probably much better players than me that haven't joined. So get your asses to the tournament. And dethrone my ass from top five i guess um yeah (laughs) um yeah so we've got ranked battles um everyone can challenge anyone three times three ranks above them or below them um i mean why would you challenge someone below you but you can challenge anyone three rank up to up to three ranks above you uh for their spot and then they they will move down um and yeah it's cool it it brings about a level of competition um rivalry and also like you know who to prepare for next you know like let's say for example um i guess for us double o snake i think is number one right now i'll have to double check the spreadsheet he plays a mean ass gin he can play everyone else though he's he's just crazy but you can he plays a mean ass gin so let's say let's say for example he only played Jin, right? So and you're number two. You want that number one spot. You know you know he plays Jin. Work on your Jin matchup, right? During casuals, just sneak. Be like, hey, can you help me <laughs> with the Jin matchup? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> help me with that Jin matchup, and then challenge, and then get number one. Now at least you got that Jin matchup. Or it might be in my case, I play Josie. Um, and I think, I don't know, someone up, up above me might be playing Elisa or Eliza or Yoshi, Yoshimitsu. So I can learn that matchup specifically or prepare for that and, cha- and then challenge them and then have it played on stream. And that's the benefit. That's the beauty of Pika. You know, um, yeah, it's on stream. You can watch it and you can analyze it, what you did wrong, what you did right. What your opponent did um, in those situations, those basic strings that they have, and it's just, um, it's just so, so, um, it just benefits you so much, especially if you want to improve, man. It's just so, there's so much benefit <laughs> from attending your local. So if you can do it, um, yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just so good. It's just too good to pass up. So those are some of the things that we do at our local um you can consider doing the same thing uh you can do ranked battles you can do have it on stream so you can watch um have that ability to play it back um and and see what you did wrong what you did right what you what you could do better what you need to improve on you know it's those it's those simple things it's those things that that helps out so much um, and you have other people with the same goal to get to get better and to grow the community um, around you. It's just, it's just great. It's just so great. Fighting games is something so great. I know I'm taking it from Tikido, but it's just, it's just great. Um, yeah. And then here's the thing, you know, we've like here in Australia, we've got BAM, which is um, in Melbourne, which is in Eastern States. And some of the guys are training and preparing for BAM, um, working to help each other to get better at the game. So no one's going to say Western Australia is filled with scrubs. Not me. It's it, you've got that community. You've got that all that rivalry that pe- people that will help you move forward. Um, it's just it's just good. I I mean you know there's always the minority of guys that just take it a bit too personally, and he here's here's my thing. All right, here's my opinion on trash talk, and it's probably 
Um, it's probably not the most controversial um, opinion ever, but here it is. Trash talk is good up to a point. All right, trash talk is good to hype up your opponent and to hype yourself up. Oh crap! I just hit my computer. <laughs> I'm leaving that in though. I don't care. Um, yeah. So here's the thing. Like, if my friend said, "Dude, I can, I can beat you," you're gonna, you're gonna practice so hard against that matchup, and you'd be like, "Nah, bro." <laughs> eat that l <laughs> take this l my friend you know it's and then he's gonna be like oh damn i took this l dude that won't happen again next time right this is just simple trash talk you know it can be you can do whatever you want um just don't get personal you know and that's the other thing as well there's two sides of this coin with trash talk don't take it personal and don't get personal right if you're dishing it out now if you're dishing it out and you get personal then that's that's not on that's not on at all um trash talk is to talk it's just about skill no it's to add egg each other on to get better to improve to bring it to bring a challenge right but if you're gonna bring someone's family into it if you're just gonna talk about i don't know talk about get you get way too personal then just stop that's not good that's not gonna benefit you that's not gonna benefit them just stop All right so yeah anyways um that's it uh, that's that's my spiel on on locals and i i encourage you to to, to support your locals a lot more um if you're if you're um uh, what's the word? If you're shy, if you're scared, don't be. Um, there's all like don't, don't be. I I I used to be like that. Um, I still am at times. I I used to be really shy, not talking to people. But at the end of the day, you're there to have fun. You know, they're there to have fun. They're there to make friends. They're there to do the same thing as you. So, you know, it help each other out. And you never know, you might find a really good group of friends um, to help you out. And yeah, yeah, I, I cannot stress that enough. You know, and just support your locals, um, support um, your local scene, help grow, help build your local scene. And your local scene will help build you. I guess if that's 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 um, the thing that you can take away from this. But anyways, thank you so much for for tuning in um, to today's episode. I know today's episode was kind of all over the place. Uh, I just kind of wanted to talk about my local um, and the importance of going to locals. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you for thank you so much for crumbling this cookie with me. Uh, be sure to subscribe and tune into the next episode that I'll be making up next week, um, every Friday. Uh, I'll be releasing these Friday morning for Western Australian uh, people from Western Australia. <laughs> but yeah, it, it'll be here on YouTube on my channel. Make sure to subscribe, tune in. Um, what else? What else can I say? I'm back. <laughs> I'll talk a little bit more about what happened later on at another time. I kind of don't feel like talking about myself. Um, but. Just know that Dragon Ball Fighters Basics will be back very soon. But for now, uh, stay safe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. <laughs>